Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming at you today with a favourites video for the month of January. But before I tell you about all the things that I've been enjoying since the beginning of the month, I would like to say that my absolute favourite thing of all, without a shadow of a doubt, is just feeling well again. We've all been poorly, or at least one of us at a time, if not more, for what feels like the whole month. I started off the year with sinusitis, not a particularly bad bout of it, but nonetheless sinusitis, and that was a bit miserable, and that seemed to last for ages, and Dan wasn't very well, and Aidan was poorly, and yeah, that just seemed to go on and on. And then this week, Merrin and Aidan have been off school, Marnie's been unwell, I've been unwell, and it's just been miserable. I'm so ready for warmer weather, sunnier days, less germs. Does anyone else feel like this year has just been the worst year for bugs and germs? Everyone I know just seems to be ill. So in the spirit of trying to convince myself that it's warmer outside than it actually is, it looks lovely but it's absolutely freezing, I'm wearing my first favourite which is this yellow jumper. The second I saw this jumper in the store I grabbed it and just ran to the till. I didn't even try it on, I knew I had to have it. It's a bright yellow on the top half and then halfway down the sleeves and halfway down the body it's white or cream, like off-white. It's the softest, squashiest knit. It feels really, really cosy and comfortable. It's not itchy at all. It looks really nice with light denim. I've got it on with some ripped lighter jeans today and it just, it makes me feel like spring is on the way. So this has definitely been one of my favourites. It's from Topshop and I think it was £38. I will look it up if it's still available and pop the link in the description box. But yeah, it was around, it was 30 something anyway, around 38 pounds. And what I love most about it is that it will last me and be useful into the summer as well. The next item is another fashion piece and it is this shirt from ASOS. Again, I saw it, it came up on my Facebook feed as one of those things you might like suggestions. And as soon as I saw it, I went through and bought it. It is an oversized shirt. It's white with this sketch print of different faces, which is admittedly slightly weird, but something about it just really appealed to me. I love the fit of it. It's really baggy and loose. And again, it's one of those things that I can wear now with my leather jacket or in the summer with denim shorts or jeans. And I believe that was 30 pounds from ASOS. The next item is probably my favourite out of everything and will probably remain one of my favourite things throughout the year. It was actually a Christmas gift from my husband and he... he did good. And it's these headphones, he got me the Beats by Dre and I know I'm not cool enough to pull those off, however, they are amazing so I don't care. They're the wireless, um, I've forgotten the model, wireless Solo 3 I think? Um, headphones and they are gold and white which is just they're beautiful to look at but what I love about them the most is they are incredibly comfortable the sound quality as you'd expect is just amazing I've only ever bought myself cheap crappy headphones for years I didn't use them a great deal before I started making YouTube videos I wouldn't really didn't really use them unless I was going on holiday or something like that but since I've started editing, obviously I use them pretty much every day for that. And also I've started wearing them when I go out for walks with Marnie. I don't put them on until she falls asleep because I don't want to be, you know, listening away to something on my headphones and not chatting to her. So when she falls asleep on a walk, I will get these out and listen to podcasts or music or whatever I feel like listening to at the time but I'm so enjoying doing that it makes me feel like I'm in my own little world and I just walk along the seafront hopefully in the sunshine it's just brilliant I love it they are foldable which just makes it easy to take them with you they actually come in a little carry case which keeps the charging cable and various bits and pieces in as well I just am obsessed with them I know I've had a few looks when I've been wearing them out and about but I just don't care. I love them and they are an absolute favourite of mine so I'm really really grateful for those. The next thing is slightly random I'm aware but it's this travel cup and it's kind of connected to the headphones which is why I wanted to mention it. I picked this up from Primark for a bargain price of about £2 and the reason I'm including it in my favourites is not because of it, the actual cup, 
but I've really been enjoying making myself a coffee at home and taking it out with me with my headphones and just enjoying it whilst I'm walking along. It means that I'm not buying myself a coffee so I'm saving money when I'm out on a walk. We have an espresso machine at home so it's not like I can't make myself good coffee at home so it's saving me money and the mug is pretty cool. It's a black marble print with this sort of rubber thingy around it. It took a few washes, I will say, to stop it from making my drinks taste a bit funny and plasticky, but once that had gone, it's been brilliant and slightly strange favourite, but for £2, I've been really enjoying it and it's been saving me money too, so win-win. When I show you the next item, you are going to think that I'm just the biggest child in the world. However, I went out for dinner a couple of weeks ago with a friend of mine and she had this phone case on her phone and I had to get it. I said to her there and then, I, I need that in my life and there are no regrets. It is a skinny dip furry phone case. There are no words for how amazing this is. I appreciate it's not to everybody's taste and certainly not to my husband's. He just rolled his eyes at me and that was about <laughs> that was about the extent of his reaction. But do you know what? It's actually really good because not only does it look cute and it's like a peach fur, you can get them in all different colours if you're interested. There's like pink and blue and rainbow and you name it, but I wanted the peach one. And the added benefit is that you can grip your phone really easily with it. It doesn't feel as slippery and like it's gonna drop out of your hand and you can kind of hold on to it by the fur. So who knew that that would be an added advantage of being five years old. The case was from Skinny Dip, as I said, and it was 16 pounds and you're welcome. My next favorite is an oldie. I've had this for a long time, but I really want to get better at using my camera. Ever since I got the Canon G7X, which is what I'm filming on now, and I'm so glad I got it. It's a brilliant camera and I love using it, but I have completely neglected this one. I bought this about a year before the Canon and it's the Olympus Pen. I just think it's the most beautiful camera to look at anyway, but I just don't use it anymore. And the one thing I found with this, it was a bit heavy for vlogging and it wasn't really my perfect camera. Lots of people use it and love it for, for video, but it just, it, it wasn't as convenient for me as the G7X because the G7X is a lot smaller. This is quite heavy and quite bulky, especially with this lens on it. However, it is brilliant for photography, but I just don't use it. I use my phone and take a quick snap with that. And that's what I use for Instagram and all my photos, to be honest. But I really want to change that. I want to take this out with me more. I want to sit with it next to me at home and sort of take photos spontaneously at home and just make use of this because it wasn't cheap and it is a great camera and I don't want to sell it. I can't bring myself to part with it. So I've been trying to teach myself to be a better photographer. I am a nightmare for just sticking things on auto and snapping away, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I've got some lovely photos that way, but I'd love to teach myself how to use it properly and how to get the best out of it. So this has been a real favorite for the last couple of weeks and hopefully I'll just get better at using it and be able to share more photos from this camera. My next favorite was a completely unnecessary purchase, but I had some Christmas money that was burning a hole in my pocket. So I bought the Naked Heat Palette. I have the first Naked Eye Palette, but I've used it so much it's looking a bit battered and sad and I went through the Naked Basics palette, like all the shades that I would use typically from that are pretty much gone. So I needed a new eye palette in my life, I really did, that's what I told myself anyway. So I got the Naked Heat palette after just seeing so many people rave about it and it is utterly beautiful. I'm gonna do that thing now where I try and cover up the mirror so you can see it. The shades are just lovely and really my cup of tea, they're all very warm, red toned browns. I'm no expert with makeup, I'm not brilliant or particularly adventurous with, particularly with my eye makeup, I tend to just go for one shadow, blend it all over the lid, mascara, and that's about it. But it's nice to have the option and there's some great shades for this time of the year, for the warmer months. I just love it, I love a good bandwagon. This is a slightly odd one, but I wanted to mention it anyway because Merrin had it for Christmas, so it's kind of one of her favourites and one of mine. 
but it's this book and it's called Fantastically Great Women Who Changed the World. I have absolutely loved looking at this with Marin. She read this really quickly and it really had an impact on her. She came downstairs and she couldn't wait to tell me which her favourite stories were from it. It basically tells the stories of women throughout history who've achieved amazing things. So it includes uh, Amelia Earhart, Coco Chanel, Marie Curie, uh, Rosa Parks. Merrin loves to read and she reads a lot of fiction so it was really lovely to see her reading this and learning something at the same time. It really inspired her and we had some really nice conversations off the back of it. She couldn't wait to tell me about all these amazing women she'd read about. She wanted to chat about how she could go go on and change the world when she's older and she absolutely can. She's a little superstar but this has without a doubt been one of my favourite things to talk about with her this month. And my final favourite of the month is a Netflix series and I've heard loads of people mention this in their favourites videos but I too thoroughly enjoyed watching this in January and it's The Sinner we got through this in literally a couple of days. It was such a good show. I was completely hooked from the very first episode. It stars Jessica Biel, who was just fantastic in it. I'm sure she's been nominated for some awards off the back of it, which is so deserved. She was incredible. It's such a good story. It keeps you guessing all the way through. It's a bit gruesome and a bit dark in places, but it is thoroughly, thoroughly worth a watch. So that's everything that I've been enjoying in the month of January. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one.